Hi and welcome to this course. My name is Neil and I'm your instructor for this course. This course, Hoshin Canary Strategy Execution, is a course that is aimed to help you understand what is Hoshin Canary and use that for executing strategy in your own organization. So what is Hoshin Canary? Hoshin Canary are two Japanese words, Hoshin and Canary. Hoshin itself, in fact, is a combination of two Chinese words, Ho and Shin. Ho essentially talks about something like, say, method, and Shin is more like a compass. So we are talking about, I would say, strategy, if, if I were to summarize that, and Kanri is equivalent of management. So broadly, you could say Hoshin Kanri is strategy implementation or strategy execution. Now, what approach does your organization use for strategy implementation today? Most organizations have a robust method for strategy identification, but when it comes to strategy execution itself, they are very weak. We all know that. And people try to use whatever methods and techniques that they have heard of. It's just a rigor of getting things done, pushing people and reviewing and, and stuff like that. But there is much more than merely these factors which can make a strategy succeed or fail. If you take two organizations, let's say one is a BMW and the other could be Ford. Both of them are successful. Both of them have reached their goals. So what's different is their strategy itself, but immaterial of how different their strategy is, they are still successful. So if you want to be really successful, strategy is just a means for achieving that and in spirit, how do you deploy the strategy in the organization? How do you make sure that everyone in your organization understands this uh, strategy in spirit is the essence of Hoshin Canary. If I were to sum up, what are the two key important aspects of Hoshin Canary? One, Hoshin Canary talks about focusing on the approach or the house, the means of how you will achieve or how you will act. The second important aspect of Hoshin Canary is cross-functional alignment. As we move forward, we will talk about this in greater detail, but what I want to emphasize is that lack of cross-functional alignment in large organizations or even mid-sized organizations, I'm not even going to talk about corporations which are really large, even for small organizations where there are a handful of employees, getting cross-functional alignment is in fact the biggest issue when it comes to putting your act together and achieving a, a particular goal. Hoshin Canary has methods or techniques to achieve that. If your organization uses, let us say, balance scorecard, how different is that from Hoshin Canary is something that we will touch upon as we move forward in this course in multiple lectures. So wait for that answer as you move forward. But one thing I want to talk about right now is an introduction of a case study. So right after this lecture, the next lecture will be introduction of a case study called as Luca Corporation case study. I have changed the name of the company. So there is no company that exists by that name. But by virtue of the fact that I have been helping several organizations implement Hoshin Canary as a consultant and as an employee prior to that, I've also helped some of my employers. I was part of the core team implementing Hoshin Canary. So that particular case study will run throughout this course and you will see how Hoshin Canary uh, is going to help Luca Corporation uh, fix their issues relating to strategy implementation. As we also move forward, we will talk about what is the history of Hoshin Canary. So you get some hang about what is the history of Hoshin Canary, where did it all start, etc. Then we will get into the nuances of implementing Hoshin Canary, which is even more, I would say, important. And by the end of this exercise, um, this whole course, in fact, I think you should be in a position to go and pick up your company's strategy execution if your organization is a mid or small scale player. So that is also one of the key, I would say, deliverables of this particular course. That having said, strategy implementation itself, as the word implementation suggests, it is an action oriented subject. So I'm going to encourage you to constantly evaluate what practices happen in your organization as we walk through the case study 
thereby creating linkages of what you think you have to change in your organization and how you will bring about that change. So with that, this is an introductory lecture. I'm going to close this lecture. We move forward in the next lecture. We talk about Luca Corporation's case study. Thank you.